Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. We've got beans up eight cents. Uh, corn right now is up about um, two cents and wheat's up four cents. Stocks a little bit higher, dollars lower, and crude's a little bit higher, trying to bounce off recent lows and off the high of 75. Over the grains, uh, it looks like from a weather standpoint here in the U.S., uh, the European model is a little bit drier than the GFS model, and the GFS model is just way too wet. Normally, uh, last half June, Midwest gets two inches of rain. We're still looking for the Western Corn Belt to see 30% uh, of that, while the East gets 20% of that. And um, I think the main thing is that as these fronts move across, they're going to keep temperatures at normal or below which is really uh, helping not stress the crop. Without some normal rains, um, that normally could be stressed if temperatures were above 90 degrees. Uh, also in the beans, supported by uh, the fact that Spain bought 165,000 tons of U.S. beans yesterday. Technically speaking, uh, we're at 1361. Probably your next resistance is around 1375. And uh, to push above that price level, we're gonna need a weather problem. Over the corn, these corn's trading at uh, right now 610. So 620 is the right price that everyone's been talking about since the beginning of the year as trying to push closer to if we have a tight situation or some kind of weather problem. And in the wheat, uh, trading in Chicago at 632, obviously 650 is resistance, uh, KC 821, 850, and the same price for Minneapolis. Apple's wheat. So we're we watching to see outside markets influence. Do the Feds pause? Do they eventually increase rates? Does that push into the recession? Is the consumer uh, disposable income uh, being reduced because of inflation? And does that affect demand, especially on food? And China's the number one commodity buyer in the world. And their economy looks like it continues to be slow. And so without that, uh, they're not net buyers of uh, key commodities. And so without that, it's hard for the commodity market to rally.